What is going on guys, it's your boy DPJ back with another Destiny video and in today's video I'm going to show you guys every exotic piece of armour you can get for your Warlock, Hunter and Titan that we know is available in the game so far. Now before I start can I just state if you guys are new to my channel and enjoy daily Destiny content make sure you subscribe. Also help me out with a like, I do appreciate the support and like I said it really does help out. Now another thing I must state as well. Credit given where credit is due, uh, a massive shout out to Sonny J from the Reddit Destiny forum who actually compilated and put all this information together. Without him this video would not be here so massive shout out to him. Now let's just get into it and I'm going to start with the Hunter uh, as it's my character and we're going to start with the Hunter Helmets. Now the first one we have is called Archlophage Symbiote and its actual effects are increased grenade throw distance, gain super energy on grenade kills and golden gun gains one additional spot per use and as we all know it looks absolutely amazing. Uh, the next one is knockerhead radar, I actually have this, basically causes grenade damage, reduces melee cooldown, gains super energy when killing those of the darkness, radar remains active while aiming down sights with primary weapons only. This is a great helmet, I've got this, it doesn't look that great apart from the hologram on the mask but it's still badass. The third mask we have is Mask of the Third Man and its effects are regen health when picking up an orb, increased melee attack speed, attacks with an art blade, use less energy. Moving on to the chest pieces, we have the Crest of Alpha Loopy. Uh, its effects are special weapon, reserve ammo increased, hand cannon, reserve ammo increased, revive teammates faster, get revived faster, and super spawns more orbs. Uh, another chest we have Lucky Raspberry, and its effects are fusion rifle, reserve ammo increased, heavy weapon, reserve ammo increased, and arc bolt grenade, chains further and you spawn with grenades ready. Moving on to the gauntlets, we have Young Arham Kerr's Spine. I actually have this, it's probably the best piece of exotic I have seen. Um, increased special weapon reload speed, gain super energy with grenade kills, and trick mine grenades last longer when placed. Moving on to the Titan, and we're gonna start with helmets. And the first one is an insurmountable school fort. Its effects are regen half when picking up orbs, Malian reduces grenade cooldown and storm fist kills immediately grant half regen and spawn with melee ready. The next one we have Helm of the Inmost Light. Uh, its effects are increased melee attack speed, reduced melee cooldown when picking up orbs, adds death from above and headstone perks to the Fist of Havoc. The next one we have is the Helm of Saint 14. Its effects are increased melee attack speed, gain super energy when killing those of the darkness, blind enemies that enter the Ward of Dawn. Moving on to chest pieces and the first chest we have is called the Crest of Alpha Loopy and its effects are auto rifle reserve ammo increased, special weapon reserve ammo increased, revive teammates faster, get revived faster and super spawns more orbs. The second chest piece we have is called the Armamentorium and its effects are special weapon reserve ammo increased, heavy weapon reserve ammo increased and gain an additional grenade. Moving on to the gauntlets we have no backup plans and its effects are special weapon reload speed increased, melee attack speed increased and increases duration of force barrier. Okay, so moving on to the third and final character, the Warlock, and we're going to start with its helmets. And the first helmet we have is called Apotheosis Spell. Uh, its effects are melee reduces grenade cooldown, gain health when picking up orbs, and regen health on super activation. The second helmet we have is called Light Beyond Nemesis, and its effects are increase melee attack speed, gain health when picking up orbs, and revive teammates faster, get revived faster, and super spawns more orbs. The third helmet we have is called School of Dire Arham Kira, which looks absolutely incredible. I made a video on this alone because it's just that badass. And its effects are increased grenade throw distance, gain super energy on grenade kills, and damage taken is reduced when using Nova Bomb. Moving on to the chest pieces, we have the Heart of Practic Fire, and its effects are fusion rifle, reserve ammo increased, heavy weapon, reserve ammo increased, cooldowns further reduced when using Radiance. The second chest piece we have for the Warlock is the Void Vang Vestments and its effects are Hand Cannon Reserve Ammo Increased, Special Weapon Reserve Ammo Increased and Axillion Bolt Grenade Spawn Additional Bolt. Moving on to the Warlock's Gauntlets we have the Sunbreakers and its effects are Increased Special Weapon Reload Speed, Malian Reduces Grenade Cooldown and Increases Duration of Solar Flare Grenades. 
And that's about it guys, that is all the exotics we know to be in the game so far. There are a few others mentioned in the list, but there's no information on them yet, so it's still speculated whether they're actually in the game yet or they're going to come in future DLC. But they are called for the Warlock, we have the Stag which is a helmet, we have a gauntlet called the Claws of Ahamkura, and actually no boots for the actual, or no leg armor for the Warlocks at all. For the Hunter we have a helmet called the ATS-8, um, we have a chest called the Starfire Protocol, and we have gauntlets called Don't Touch Me. We also have boots that are basically confirmed, which I couldn't find any information on them at all, just a small little square picture, uh, which was nothing great. So I left them out, but they were called Radiant Dance Machines. Now if any of you guys have them, be sure to let me know. For the Titan we have a helmet called the Glass House, gauntlets called Room Wings and leg armor called MK44 Stand A Sides. But that's about it, if you guys know of any armor not listed or not shown in this video and have details on them be sure to let me know down below in that comment section. Hope you guys enjoyed the video, if you did do drop a like, don't forget to subscribe if you're new to my channel and enjoy daily Destiny content. Thanks as always though for watching and peace out till next time, peace.